Parliament. Yeah, yeah, but, but how you, are you going to rectify it? You can never make it up. Uh, not make up the rakah. Let's say, let's say you said something wrong. Salaam Ali. How are you? Okay. This is yours. Okay. okay. When you're finished, I'll be around in July. Inshallah. Barakallah. So if, if you say, say, Surah al Fatiha wrong, you can just throw it. No, 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 no. Let's say, let's say you forgot and you got up once more. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, you forgot. So then you went back. Yeah. Now, how are you going to perform the uh, uh, sujood the sahu? Yeah, you do the sujood. How are you going to perform it? For example, let me explain to you. Your imam, your imam, imam, what he would do, he would read the shahud, then he would say, Salaamu Alaikum once, then he will do it twice, then he will go down twice, then he will come back again, then he will do the tashahud, and then he do the taslim twice. Is that the correct way or not? Yeah. Yeah. That's a Hanafi madhab one. So, just to show you, just to show you that you are following the Hanafi madhab. Look, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, forget about what I do. I do it different, I do it different, but let me tell you one thing. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, say to, say to Nuruddin al-Hakim, that he has to leave his madhab, which was Athari, which was Ahl al-Hadith, and turn to be a Hanbali, I mean uh, a Hanafi. Yeah, I know. So, so by you, by, by following the Hanafi madhab, the Hanafi madhab actually says that the Sunnah abrogates Quran. Islam is Islam. If you do a mistake, yeah. You do as a Jew. For, forget about that. One extra no, but you, you people, you seem That's to it. be, you seem to be. Ah, oh, astaghfirullah. When, when I say, uh, the hadith abrogate the sunnah, but the madhab you follow says it. We never claim that the, the hadith can abrogate the holy Quran. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You follow the Hanafi madhab. You cannot, you cannot take a hadith. Muhammad, Muhammad, Quran. don't give me. Don't. You're gonna send my blood sugar high again. Because you're saying you can take the hadith over the Quran. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you that in your madhab it exists. No, it doesn't. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you said it? Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Qadiyani. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed for his says. That's what, that's it, that's it. But, <laughs> uh, subhanallah. Muhammad, Muhammad, listen, 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 listen. MD has a Khalifa. The Sunni world is waiting for. He can't even he can't even read Al Fatiha. It's best to believe in the Khalifa. He can't even in, in read Al Fatiha. Huh? Yes, he can. He can. Subhanallah. Prays five times. He leads five times a day. Prayers. He leads five times a day. He leads five. I swear by Allah, he, has, he doesn't know what Fajr looks like. He prays Fajr every day. <laughs> what? When the sun rises? Before the sun rises, just about time. Muhammad. He leads it. Muhammad, Muhammad, when are you going to come to Islam? Muhammad, you're a kafir. You're a kafir, Muhammad. It's not good to say someone's a kafir. Huh? It's not good to tell someone is a kafir. But you are a kafir. If I say Lai Lai, you know, if I say to you, it doesn't matter. Somebody worships the grave. If my mother worshipped the grave, I would tell her you're a kafir. If she knew that worshipping the grave is haram and she consists on it, I will tell her that and she's my mother. Let alone you. Listen, man lam yaqul al kafir kafir fa huwa kafir. What if your MD, what if your mom is becomes an Ahmadi then? My imam is Ahmadi. Or your mother or your parent, your dad becomes an Ahmadi. I'll disown them. You disown them. Yeah. They will be my mom and dad, but I'll disown them. What's your explanation for when just because of the belief? Because it's kufr. Because it's covered. You know, you know that the ummah, the ummah, the entire ummah, the entire ummah, the learned person, the non-learned person, the intellect, the non-intellect, you know, they all believe that there is no prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah, not a new prophet, but a prophet. A new prophet. A prophet within the sharia. Well, how within the sharia? How within the... Is he, is, is Mirza Ghulam Isa ibn Maryam? Yes. 
He's Isa ibn Maryam. But not the same one, not the same one, but the second coming of him. Second coming of him. Second okay. Has 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 your has your Isa, your Isa, has he got a mother and father? Yes, yes. What's his mother's name? Uh, Gerard Bibi. Okay. <laughs> Gerard Bibi. No, 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 don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. So 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 it's not Maryam. It's not Maryam. Because that that Jesus has died. The Quran says it. Where does the Quran say it? We have to stay on the hook, we have to stay on the uh, Where does the Quran say it? The Quran says فلما توفيتني كنت أنت الرقيب عليهم وأنت على كل شيء شاهد إن تعذبهم فإن إيه؟ look look توفى توفى has got that's not that's not an آية which a definite آية because توفى has got different meaning so that's not that's not that's mutashabi that's mutashabi you can't have that ayah but the question will, will come then is why is it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, to the grave but Isa he has taken him up alive listen 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 when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went mi'raj when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went mi'raj wait 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 when the prophet went to Mi'raj, did he see the did he see the angel? Uh, I mean, the the prophets or not? Yes, he did. did he see the prophet? Yes. So if Allah wills something, it will happen. Allah, look, look, Allah Jalla wa Ala, Allah Jalla wa Ala. Listen, Muhammad, Allah Jalla wa Ala is not limited by by physics. Kind of like something needs to be. Allah Jalla wa Ala can do things which are supernatural to your thinking and my yes, thinking. Yes, he also has laws with it as well. No, the, uh, Allah, go, nothing. Okay, okay. Can you tell me somebody that goes up, you know, after the ozone, yes, there is no oxygen. Am I correct or wrong? Correct. Yeah. So after the ozone, there is no oxygen. Yet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went up to the seventh heaven. To the seventh heaven. Does that defy the laws? Does that... Huh? Well, look, look, Muhammad, 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 Muhammad. In Surah Al Isra, Allah Jalla wa Ala says, Subhana Ladi Asra bi Abdihi Laylan. Subhana Ladi Asra bi Abdihi Laylan. Min al Masjid al Haram ila al Masjid al Aqsa Ladi Barakna Hawla. Linuriyahu min ayatina. So, exalted be the one that has taken his servant. His slave, his servant, in a night journey from the Masjid Al Haram to the Masjid Al Aqsa, so that we can show him our signs. Isn't him taking the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the seventh heaven one of the signs, one of the great signs? Okay. So, so how come, how come Allah Jalla wa Ala says, Subhana Ladi Asra bi Abdi? He calls him. He didn't say Subhana Ladi something else. Meaning that f the physical transfer happened. Physical transfer from Mecca to uh, Jerusalem and from Jerusalem up to the seventh heaven. Physically. Physically, yeah. So, so how can, okay. Now when, now when uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed says that he got pregnant, do you believe that? <laughs> but he does. He does. Shall I bring it out, Muhammad? You know, you know I've got it. Bring it up. No, it's not bring it up. I have got it. Shall I? Yeah. You're going to be embarrassed, Muhammad. I don't like to embarrass you. You're a nice kid, you know? You just need to come to Islam. Muhammad, I don't like to embarrass you, Wallahi. But you, 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 you ask for it all the time. Yeah, remember, when Azamiza Qalam Muhammad came, all the technology came into existence. The Dijal came, the, the donkey, the, the one that jumped from north to east, south to west. The one who, uh, like cars, trains, uh, ships. So the donkeys, the cars. The cars the cameras. This is all prophesied by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's a prophecy of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the truthfulness of, the, of Islam. Don't mix things up. Come on. What's about... Uh... Today we as Muslims can tell the, the Christians of all, all of the religions that look, as the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 140,000 year, 140, years ago prophesied regarding all this technology. You know? And all this technology is a time of the Messiah. 
because all this technology exists, the Messiah has to be here. You know, you have to accept the Messiah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Because the thing is, then what, what happens is people they follow the, their sheikhs, their, um, their mullahs, you know, the imams that are sitting in the mosques. And if you see them, they all are divided, they all fight each other. Well, so are your opinions divided as well? Because you just said that your mullah. They have got so many sects. But he's got proof that said that he was pregnant. Like, it's just a clear contradiction within your own beliefs as well. You have to bring it up. No, but it is, it's coming. I am bringing it up. I am bringing it up. Because you can't just criticize one side by saying there's a contradiction when there's contradiction within your own faith as well. Look, and then you're also clear what cut, I believe, what you I clear believe cut is, also rejected the Quran when the Sheikh pronounced the Quran. When the Sheikh pronounced the Quran. There are Jewish spies that live in Mecca, in Medina. Hello, hello. When the well, there are Jewish spies. There are Jewish then, spies then that live in Medina that are controlling uh, certain sects like Sunnism. I believe that the Jewish spies are controlling them. Because the Sunnis in the Makkah, they know that the uh, Hazrat Muhammad Muhammad is the truth. He is the Messiah. How do you this know they is know? Why, this is why they have changed the Quran. Yeah. This is why they have changed the, uh, the translation okay, of the Quran. The Bukhari Khazan, volume 19, page 50. It says about him, uh, yeah. he became very yeah, he was khair. For no more than 10, yeah, look, 10 for no more than 10 months, isn't it? For no more than 10 I'll months. Say, they're after, after many months, not exceeding a period of 10 months. <laughs> of 10 months, yeah. So, and then, this and then, the and then from there, Ruhani, from Miriam, from Miriam in there, it says he became Isa, doesn't it? Just uh, and, continue and reading. And hence, I, I came to be the son of to, Mary. To be the son of Mary. So yeah. he was Mary. Wait, wait, wait. He was Mary. From Mary, he got pregnant by Yalash. Yalash got impregnated him because he calls God Yalash anyway. So Yalash, you know that you know Yalash it does Allah? exist. Allah. Didn't he say of Yalash? Ya, ya man la sharika la. Ya man la sharika la. Well, then, uh, then, then look. Then you don't follow Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Oh, are you embarrassed? Are you embarrassed? <laughs> Muhammad, are you embarrassed? <laughs> are you embarrassed? Are you embarrassed? From your, okay, from you your. You know, read it. You know, read it. No, no, I you know it. I know it. It's just the problem. Know. He knows it because I showed him so many times. <laughs> so how do you explain this? In Rohani Khazain. Give him the reference. Yeah. Give him the reference. Rohani Khazain, volume 19, page 50. God had named me Mary, and as a parent from it, I was nurtured in the qualities of Mary for two years. When a period of two years lapsed, then as stated on page 496 of the fourth volume of Brahim Ahmadiyya, the soul of Jesus was infused in me, and it was infused, infused. in Mary, and in an allegoric sense, I was stated to be pregnant. Thereafter, many months, not exceeding a period of 10 months after this revelation, I was through a revelation recorded at the end of Brahim Ahmadiyya, Named Jesus, and hence I came to be the son of Mary. And that's in 18, 18, 19. Volume 19, page 50. Volume 19, page 50. Rohani Khazar. Yeah. So, you have to remember. That so remember what? Hazrat um, could could do stuff. Hazrat Isa. Uh -huh. He had a spirit which was uh, of a prophet. This this spirit. Muhammad, do you hear yourself? What are you saying? Do you hear yourself? What are you saying? So. Hazrat Isa was given the uh, spirit of a prophet. Hazrat Mizopala Ahmed, he came alive. The, uh, as, uh, like Hazrat Isa. Did he keep become pregnant because or not? The, according, according to the, according to what he's saying. He was in the second coming of Isa. But did, but did he become Mary? Become pregnant? Pregnant? So he became Mary and no, became no, pregnant. No, no. So what? So he's a liar then. Hazrat Maryam was given a revelation by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he, she... No, no, we're talking about Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Forget Maryam alayhi salam, forget Isa alayhi salam. No, no, forget them. No, we're talking about Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Did he become, did he become, did he become or not? 
Azam is a Glam Ahmed also huh? when he was born he was also given those qualities. What qualities? He was riddled with illnesses. He was given the qualities of... He was riddled with illnesses. Okay, 